In this soul guidance reading, you will witness me giving information to my client from a spirit guide. The guide is able to provide specific information to my client to help her understand that she is being guided, loved and watched over by not only family, but by higher beings too. None of us ever walk alone. I can feel for sure I've got maternal links coming around me here, Jackie. So mum in the spirit world, but also mum's mum in the spirit world. Do, do you understand yeah. that? Not mum, mum's mum's mum. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's so frustrating. I I, go, I knew I'm going down the maternal lines and yeah. I could feel mum. I was being I was being drawn to mum. So when I make a mistake, I always explain why it is. So I was I was seeing mum, getting the maternal lines and um and feeling mum's mum. So that's why I put She was like me, mum. Was she? Okay. Yeah, Thanks. very, very closely. Well now I can I mean she's like straight in. OK, so I can as I'm asking her to come closer, build up around me. All right. I can feel a very vivacious energy. She's got a lot of oomph, this lady. She's very, very excited to be mm. connecting with you. Um, OK, she's cuddly, Jackie. Um, so not a slim lady. There's a cuddliness to her. I'm not saying she's obese, but she's bringing across <laughs> The cuddliness to you, like she wants to give yeah. you a good cuddle, all right? And I know that you spent a lot of time, call her Nan, because I feel like I, I don't want to call her grandmother. What did you call her, grandma? She was gran, but gran. when we, we always used to joke and call her granny. And she granny, didn't okay, to... that's fine. Okay, <laughs> well, that's fine. I just don't want to be saying, oh, your grandmother. It sounds too formal, okay? Yeah, no. Um, so granny, gran, <laughs> um, she's making me aware here of like, um, spending a lot of time with you when you were younger, wanting to let you know that she invested in you completely. So it makes total sense that you're saying she felt like your mum. I can't tell the difference, you know, yeah. genuinely. And she's so connected to mum. We need to let mum know if you, if mum's open that she's come in. Yeah. Because I can just straight away, it's just that very strong maternal matriarch, motherly uh, vibe. You can see why I would get it confused with just... Yeah. The, OK, now she's also taking me to respiratory with her. Um, she's making me feel quite tired and out of breath. Um, yeah. So I know that she was also she's taking me around the tummy area. Do you understand stomach digestion? It's almost like I'm getting very tired, um, age related, worn yeah. down. Yeah. You know, it feels like she made a good age, you know, yeah, because she was tired. I can feel that kind of. Oh, sort of life force energy being drained out of me, really. Yeah. Um, and digestion and all of that, just being a little bit all over the place with her. Bless her. She doesn't need to put this on me, but I can feel she's trying to obviously let you know it's her. Um, now, she's giving me also the understanding. Did she have a little bit of trouble with hearing in her left ear? Can you um... remember? Not that I know of. Okay, so she's taking me to my left ear. So if it isn't Granny, who's had the issue with her their left ear? Can you have a think? Well, I've had problems with the left side. Ah, oh, um, related you. to migraines and things. Okay, hang on then. Don't tell me anything. It's really it's really easy to want to just try and help me along, but it's much yeah. better that. I work it out, okay? So I'm a bit... But this would have had to have affected your ear because she's taking... Mm. I think... I think she's in such a hurry to get through... <laughs> yeah. ...that she's... Things are getting a little blurred, all right? So um, I'm just saying, let's slow down a little bit. She's so keen. So the right side then, is this affecting you sort of down the left eye? Oh, sorry, not right side. Left eye. Yeah. And can you understand? Because this is going into my jaw and into my ear, and there is healing. She's placing her hands on my head, or well, on your head, really, is what I can see. Yeah. So Granny knows that you've been having issues. with. It's to do with your nervous system, and she's trying to balance your health. So she's talking about her own health and understanding what it's like to feel all over the place. Yeah. But this is to do with ner nervous system for you. Sorry, I know it's um going out if you want we're, we're going to share this but no it's fine it's hormonal and to do with your nervous system as to what the migraines are about they you yeah. haven't always had them in other words is what she's showing me okay yeah. now I've also got granddad coming in too sorry I'm working so quick 
Um, now, <laughs> Granddad is um, a little more stern than Granny. As I'm looking at him, he's quieter. He's in the background, but he is hers. He's her partner, if that makes yeah. sense. This is mum's mum and dad, all right? Yeah. He's very lovely. He's coming through with a lot of love for you, but he wouldn't have expressed all of that very well. And I don't feel that you had the same bond with granddad that you did have with granny, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I also know that granddad's gone into the spirit world before granny. Um, so, you know, you kind of lost him earlier as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it was about her around the tummy area, but she keeps taking me there. So when afterwards, when I've stopped firing all these facts at yeah. you, you can have a little think. All right. OK, so she's coming in with a whole load of love. She's telling me that she's been over there for quite a while in the spirit world. She's very, very settled. Mum's absolutely fine as well. Can I say she's very um, she's got a lot of drive. She's very independent. Um, I haven't got to worry about mum for you. And she's coming in around you both. Just wanting to give you this massive, massive hug. So I've got to connect with your ancestors first. Now, um, I've also got guides coming in. So I'm going to work here too for you. All right. Yeah. Um, because I can see um, a lady stepping close to me, female. She's showing her. Now the guides represent themselves as archetypes so that I understand what it is, the purpose of their task is with you. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So she's, she's um, feminine. I'm getting the feminine guide coming in who's been walking with you. She's showing me through life. So she's been here in your pathway for quite a long time. As I'm looking at her, I can see, wow, okay, the teacher about her. She's telling me that she's coming in on the teacher front, okay? She's your teacher guide, um, the wisdom. Now, as I'm, she's rep representing herself to me as quite young, um, I would say she looks sort of in her 30s, maybe 40s. She doesn't look elderly at all. Um, as I'm looking at her, she's showing me that words come out of your mouth. So um, you're quite actually quite spiritually capable, Jackie, um, spiritually developed. What I mean, it's like you can work as a channel because she's pulling the words out of your mouth. Do you mm -hmm. understand this? Yeah. yeah. So either you sit in development or you have sat in development with your own guides. But this lovely lady is coming forward as teacher guide to bring the words out of your mouth as a channel for you. All right. Um, she was a teacher. So she's showing me herself. She brings the experience that she had. She, she's work, walked on this earth before. She was a teacher here in this world. And um, OK, she's taken me back in time. So she wants to show me where where your paths cross. She's talking about where your paths cross. So you open for me exploring. Just to give you a bit of an insight. Yeah, into past yeah. Experience. Absolutely. I know we're on a whistle stop tour here. Obviously, when I'm <laughs> when I'm doing longer readings, I've got time to really explore things. But they're obviously working with me, giving me little yeah. insights today. Um, so she's taking me back and I am in she's saying um, the time of of it's like the Reformation years when um, when new knowledge was coming in. So she's she's talking about um, when new spiritual knowledge was being filtered out how interesting so she's making me aware that we're in a bit of a shift here at the moment in our times in consciousness we are being yeah. elevated in understanding and more and more people are coming into spiritual understanding she's making me aware this happened before there was a shunt forward or a big jump forward yeah. and she's showing me the reformation years when mm -hmm. knowledge got filtered out when the general public was first able if you like to be able to read yeah. Because the church held back the knowledge. It did. So you came in and incarnated into that time with her. And you were teaching people to read, but it was in those times. Isn't that amazing? And she was, now you were convent based, but not a nun. Right. So not, it's like the, 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 it's like the, I know this is going to sound heresy, but it's like some of the nuns wanted to get knowledge out there. So they were working with the community. And I'm in the south of France here. Wow. So with this lovely nun, uh, sorry, teacher, spirit guide, um, she would have been the nun in that lifetime. And you would have been within the community. And she worked with you 
to get the to, to get the knowledge out you're in cahoots a bit risky yeah. it was a bit risky <laughs> all right it was a risky lifetime so you've you've worked as a team before and she's now coming forward with you she's not showing herself as a nun in the spirit world she's showing me teacher and I can see right. books and um the scroll she's telling me she's got your akashic book in front of her oh okay? right wow Okay. Hence why she can take me back into the past life. So this is where you first connected and this is why she's coming in with you now. So mm -hmm. you are being invited to broaden or tap back into your channel. Now, the reason I'm saying this is I can see uh, both Gran and her coming in around you together. You haven't had the time or the kind of almost incarnation as well at the moment to be doing mm -hmm. your spiritual work. Life has been too manic too busy so you do sit for development but it doesn't feel like you actually work as a channel yet do you see what I mean yeah. Jackie yeah. and do you understand that you have been lacking in confidence or lacking in the ability or faith in your own ability yeah because you've walked away a little bit and you've lost your oh I oh Jackie you're a your girl after my own heart you've been seeing I'm gonna speak really plainly yeah I don't call me honest for no reason you've been seeing the crap out there yeah and you kind of wanted to distance yourself from it because you've had your you've had your fingers burnt a bit there's been people around you that you thought you could trust and you couldn't in the spiritual circles yeah, yeah. okay so the spirit world is sorry for this um because it should be a community it should be home it should be a soul space that we come and meet mm. um because it's left a taste in your mouth that you've just thought you know what I don't need it. And you kind of walked away a little bit. Yeah. So, or distance yourself because yeah. you don't want the hurt. You need the support. You need the upliftment. You don't need stabbing in the back. I mean, I'm yeah. speaking quite plain, but that's what's happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Gran and this lovely guide, I'm just, she's saying you can call her Rebecca. Okay. I'll have a look at the meaning of the name afterwards. If they ever give a name, it's just hmm. a label, but it'll have meaning, okay? Yeah. Um, it's just so that you've got a name you can call upon her. I don't think you've met her before. I don't think you're physic you're mentally aware of her in your own meditations, yeah. but yeah. she's coming forward kind of now, even though she's walked with you throughout life. You've been on the teacher. I'm going to say frequency. You, your whole life has been about helping people gain understanding and information and wisdom and the words coming out of you. Have you actually taught or is it that you're yeah. teaching in jobs? I was a teacher for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you've got a teacher guide. And, and you see, this is the thing. Yeah. You, She's walked with you through your whole life. You see, this is what I love. I've just got to say this. People don't People, I was always taught, don't give guides in readings. There's no way to prove they're 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 real. There's no, no way to give evidence. It's it's wrong when you work with them in the right way. You can bring evidence through, and yeah. you can give you deeper meaning, which is why I'm now going down the soul route, and why my yeah. guides have said we're not working with you in the old way. It's time yeah. to move forward. Yeah. So, so she obviously has known you from before and now and has come in on that teacher frequency so you are bang on soul path but the reason you're feeling I know a little frustrated at the moment is because you're not teaching right so you've had a pause or a lull because uh, this this got Rebecca is showing me like a um a lull are you not actually teaching anybody right now no I've not been teaching for 10 years right um, and you're feeling so at the soul level, a little bit of I'm empty. Mm. Yeah. Where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. So we've got to bring the spiritual stuff together with the teaching experience. Yeah. Because you are the teacher. And now, oh, I find this so excited. Oh, sorry, I get so excited when they give me insight. <laughs> but it's like, and now we're going through almost like a second reformation is. You know, new knowledge is being filtered in with the internet. More and more people are getting information at their fingertips. And whereas in the old days, it was to do with reading, learning to read and mm become you know educated now it, we're yeah. getting educated through video so watch this space Jackie because the spirit world haven't done with you yet okay mm -hmm. and I want to get you a little bit enthusiastic Grant's yeah. making me feel that you've been feeling a little bit I don't know just a little bit like you've lost your mojo a bit yeah a little bit like oh is this just what off it's all kilter. 
yeah, there's nothing wrong with you, but just say, no. oh, but, oh, is this what it's all about? It's all very samey, a bit on the sort mm. of wheel, okay? Yeah. Um, so, oh, she's thanking me for giving her the ability to give her voice to you today because um. you can't find the mediums or the channel that you that you trust to bring the info through, if that makes sense. You're seeking yeah. the channels, but you can't find them. Nothing's resonating with you. Yeah, I've always ended up feeling disappointed. Yeah. It's, it's like that it's... disappointment. Because you know it's there. You yeah. know it's all real because you've got the channel yourself. But it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. So, and it is horses for courses. It's about finding the people that you are free, mm. your frequency or you're vibing with. You know, we say yeah. we're vibing with people. It really is about that. You haven't found yours yet. You haven't yeah. found your 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 mediums, your channels of spirit, because you are one. Um, so hopefully I can just spark a little bit of excitement in you to give you a little bit yeah. of focus, because you are absolutely on track with your life. You needed that um, respite from teaching. Granny, gran, gran showed me that it was um, teenagers or older children that you were also connected with in teaching do you understand that um were, were they older people you were teaching no no I literally oh, taught, I, was, I was really little ones I was literally teaching them I, it made me smile earlier because I was teaching them to read and write like oh, oh my goodness so I was oh. year one I was four and five year olds oh Jackie you're an earth angel all right well then then <laughs> because this is like a charade for me and I've got to understand what yeah. she's charading at me she seems to be pulling me up to older ones so well, I my think... children are older now okay have you been investing in them then for the, yeah. this lull right okay so that's what you've been doing okay so now they're obviously freeing you up they must be yeah. because the spirit world are now moving you forward yeah uh, into you're going to be teaching adults wow okay. okay you can teach the little ones but I just feel like you're going to bring your spirituality together with this yeah. and that will be speaking to a grand grand's laughing she's making me feel there's many children in adult bodies I mean that respectfully but you know yeah. some of us are still very um naive in our outlooks or when it comes to spiritual understanding and insight we're very yeah. young yes okay or well, we have we're, we're obviously still all trying to grapple with trying to understand a bigger reality yeah. so we might have an older body but we you'll Young be soul. talking to them at a level that they can understand if that makes yeah. sense just like when you teach kids you talk to their level yeah okay so I feel very excited now oh I don't know if I want to say this because it's going out and I don't want to give any ages away um, <laughs> Have you are you coming towards quite a big birthday? Can I just put it like that? I've just had one. You just had it, right? Yeah. That's fine. Um, I don't want to say because it's I fine. No, 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 I have no problem. <laughs> we are ladies. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you after. Um, but uh, I can just feel that with that with the turning of this big, I've got a zero number, so big birthday yeah. um, comes the new. So you are yeah. literally in a transitional period. The next two years are going to be about, you're going to maybe feel a little bit frustrated at times because things might not feel like they're going fast enough for you. But Rebecca's making yeah. me aware you're coming out of a period of time where you've been mum at home then, where you've been bringing up your kids. Yeah. They're great. So you've got a son there. I can see, is he your eldest? Looks, He's looks the tall. youngest. Oh, He's is he tall, very tall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so she, so he, if he's the youngest, this makes sense then because he's getting into a point now where he's not needing you so much yeah. and you're going to be freed up to be able to move on into the next phase of your soul journey. So a mm. life very well led because you've been teaching the little ones, obviously, to read and write. Now you've <laughs> been teaching your own children and then there's a third wave of teaching coming in. Okay. Just let it play out. She's going to help you, all right? But if mm -hmm. you've been wondering, am I on the track? Am I now what mm -hmm. kind of, you know, um, am I fulfilling my life purpose? It's all, it's it's unfolding as it should. Okay. Massive heart. Rebecca's telling me you've got a massive heart. You do anything for anyone and for the animals too. Yes. <laughs> oh, mustn't forget our furry friends. No. Have you got quite a big cat, fluffy cat? I'm being I've got a big fluffy dog. Oh, big fluffy dog. Sorry. <laughs> How big though? Because I feel like I'm holding like a big cat here. Is he is he not 
Is he really big, fluffy dog? Is he? No, she's she's bigger than yeah. a cat, but she's. I used to. I've had lots of dogs, so I used to have a German Shepherd and I've had a Springer Spaniel. Okay, they're quite big. Yeah, so she's smaller than that, but she's just all floof at the Love. minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, well, sorry, I'm misinterpreting it. No. Um, <laughs> this is where we have to be really honest with mediumship. We're yeah, yeah. interpreting something, aren't we? We're, you know, yeah, it yeah. isn't always bang on. And you see on the telly all of this sort of, you know, fact, 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 fact. That's not it. So I'm just yeah. trying to get the reality of it out there. I yeah. felt like I was holding like a really big fluffy cat. That's why I was doing this with my hands. She is, she's, so, but she's like a cloud. <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I can see this dog and I can see the love and the bond then that you have between her yeah. and she has for you. All right. Mm -hmm. So I mustn't leave them out. And this is grand just sort of looking in kind of. Yeah. I see you. All right. Yeah. Okay. And you've also... Have you also been thinking about getting a tattoo? Oh, um, I've got lots of them, but oh, yeah. Have you been thinking about getting another one though? Because she's talking yeah. about what you've got in your mind. Yeah, I want one here. Okay, so <laughs> she's showing that she's, I know this sounds funny, but she hears your thoughts. She knows your yeah. thoughts. And it's not that they're mind reading and listening in on everything. She's just trying yeah. to let you understand that she knows when you're sending your thoughts out because she's aware of the planned yeah. one then. Yeah. Okay. That's coming. Um, it's flowers, but it feels like it's it, um, almost in memory. There's something quite spiritual about it that you're planning. Yeah. What have you got in your mind? Well, I've got things going around my head. So my granddad. Yes. Um, he he had little tattoos on his hands. Oh, wow. And I just need to confirm exactly what they were. They because were. I was only 13 when he passed. So I need to make sure. I think he had a butterfly and I think it might have been a bird because he was a sailor oh wow so he had the traditional sort of sailor tattoos i to think make you himself... might have like a, a flower done here yeah. with those elements incorporated that yeah. will be in memory of him because i know it was yeah. in memory of someone yeah so, so oh thinking... how lovely oh oh <laughs> send me a picture if you have it done <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. okay so this is just them obviously because obviously i we got granddad here as well um yeah. just Letting you know we're around you, we see you, we haven't left you, we know what's in your mind, we're, you know, we see where you're at in life. It's all, yeah. you know, you're doing well, Jackie, it's good. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I, I know I'm coming to the end of this now and I've had to work very quickly. Um, For me, it's like, oh, is that it? Is that all I've got time to give? You know, because there's so much more I could say. But if, if you take anything away, it's that I can feel you've got a, a really nice, strong spiritual team around you. They're yeah. showing me you've got the power of five at the minute. So that is five guides working in unison. But it was Rebecca that wanted to come forward for the purpose of this because this she needed to get to the to the crux of, of what right. you needed to know. OK. Um, and you know when i'm doing soul readings there's a whole load of stuff that comes out but we've we've got we've had a nice little bit of past lives yeah. and guides and all sorts there for you yeah, so we we've, have. <laughs> we've covered quite a bit are you happy yeah that's fab oh yeah. my god i know it's a whistle stop i know that's really really fast yeah yeah um grand gran and uh, granddad big big love coming to you and oh, to wow. mum Okay, I know she's okay. Has she just had a bit of an issue with her right hip or bottom right leg? Uh, yeah, my mum's has trouble, but I've got hip trouble as well. So we're, oh. we're very similar. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like I wanted to just come around her. You'll both be getting some healing. I'll ask for it. But um, I don't know whether she's had a bit of a twinge today or a bit of an ache when she's woken up. But I think this is just their way of saying, we're here, we're here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, she's good. So are you. Oh. So... Um, Oh, my God, I'm excited for you. I hope this <laughs> is the beginning of you just staying in touch and letting me know how your yeah. channel goes, your development with spirit. I'd love that. Well, I was only saying yesterday to sort of my spiritual mentor, if you like, um, I just feel really, I feel like I'm waiting for something, you know. Really? And then last night I jumped on and saw, you know, you're, you're alert that you'd gone live. And I was like, oh. Claire's online, so I'll have a quick look. Oh, never in a million years thinking I'd be chatting to you. No, I didn't even know I was going to be doing Fabulous. it until last night. <laughs> Fabulous. So it's like you answered my little prayer that I just needed that, you know, that little nudge that I'm okay. It's fine. It's all right. 
and it's all on track. And it, so apart from obviously I made a few errors, which was great because you were able to point those out to me straight. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, was it accurate? Were you happy with it? Yeah, fabulous. But And there's a lot of things that um, definitely resonated. Rebecca coming through as a teacher, obviously I was a teacher for a long time with little yeah. ones, teaching them to read and write. I was at a Catholic school. I am a Catholic. Wow. By- you know, by birth and and being raised as Catholic. I was taught at a primary school attached to a convent. I was taught by nuns. Oh, Jackie, see, wonderful, because this is where people will be watching and thinking, why do I want a soul reading? Why do I need to connect with the... No, no, it's fabulous. There is so much you can learn. Yeah. It makes sense of your life. Absolutely. So when I went to this primary school, I was only young, I was about eight. The head teacher was a nun. You know, we had we had some of our class teachers were nuns um, and our playground actually looked at the convent. Wow. Um, I ended up going to a college where the the principal was a nun. Okay. So I've constantly been surrounded, but I've been very sort of uh, disappointed in the church. So, you know, oh, as a Oh, that's leader, what it is. That's where yeah. your spirituality is like, oh, yeah. get it now. Okay, yeah. you've had your fingers burnt and bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. So wow. I've constantly had, and I've always sort of, not been a trouble cause, but I've always questioned things, Claire. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, well, like me, little rebellious in there. Yeah, but not so, in a, and, and in I used to way. say, you know, I used to say to me, Gran, I don't understand religion, Gran. And she'd say, you just have to trust, you know, you just have to trust in the higher part. She said, this is all man-made, but the higher meaning is still there. Well, that's so that's wise. what I've always clung to. And yeah. as I've got older, obviously, the spirituality has taken over and the institutionalised sort of religious side has I'm quite happy to just say, right, well, that is what it is, and it's not part of me anymore. Yeah, and it's served its purpose. It's got you. But I've always had big links with nuns, and yeah. Oh, wow. I love that. Oh, thank you so much for taking part and being a part of this. You are so appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Um, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I just want to chat for a bit. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, thanks, Claire. My pleasure. I'll I'll message you afterwards. All right. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Enjoy your morning. Thank Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.